Okay, so today we're taking a look at Wales Interactive's latest full motion video adventure title, or interactive movie as I prefer, The Complex. This one, they're bringing a sci-fi vibe to the table, following both a horror experience with the bunker, and then heist thriller late shift. The question for me though, is this one worth the asking price, or are you better off just simply sitting down and enjoying a normal movie experience? Well hit subscribe, join our growing family, and with that, let's get started. So due to the nature of this title, I just want to let you know quickly, I removed all subtitles from the video. Yes, they are an option here, but I want to keep this as spoiler free as possible for you. Also, with that in mind, I'm going to be keeping the footage to the opening 20 or so minutes of this 90 minute experience, while of course, avoiding any footage from some like mind blowing moments. So with story being the key focus here, we're starting this one on gameplay because it's going to be oh so very short. As the movie here plays out, you're presented with multiple options to choose from. These then influence where the story goes next. All of our choices, they solely impact Amy, our main character, and this never differs. And that's it, that's all the gameplay, and if you're watching this, then that shouldn't come as a surprise to you, it's exactly what they set out to achieve. For me, my first playthrough, I discovered one of nine available endings. I I watched 79 of an impressive 196 scenes, and then I made 78 decisions. For replayability, I gotta say this one scores high for me. With so much here left to find, I made the instant decision to jump right back in, and I mean literally, I watched it again straight away after. It latches onto your curiosity, and just doesn't let go, almost teasing you with this screen to come back. Outside of this, and there's very little else to it, you can see your relationship state with characters you met throughout the runtime, or check these mid-movie with a menu you can access. Also here, you can see Amy's attributes, like how you're impacting, let's say, her bravery or her strength. Then we also get a few basic options on the main menu, with the most important being the ability to pause the movie at moments where you need to make a decision instead of having to work against the heart rating timer that's just forcing your hand. For me personally, I did prefer the intensity of the timer. It also means the film itself flows better, but I do also appreciate where a pause could come in useful, you know, say you're playing in a family setting where you may need time to discuss, or as I called it when I played with the girlfriend, negotiate. So having treated the victims of a chemical attack in the totalitarian state of Kinder, Dr. Amy Tennant is a leader in the advancement of nano cell technology. I kind of hope that's a reference to Tennant from Doctor Who. Anyways, now in London, news breaks of a blood vomiting civilian whose identity is far from coincidental. With the countdown on and trying to work out what is happening, you're reunited with an old friend and become trapped in a impenetrable laboratory. With time and air running out, it's time for us to get to work. So we've writing duties here being fulfilled by Lynn Renee Maxey, one of the creative minds behind The Handmaid's Tale, and I'd say a relatively strong cast, most noticeably Michelle Milette from Letterkenny. I have no idea who she is, honestly, but she seems like a big deal. And then Kate Dickey, for those Game of Thrones fans out there. I gotta say, they've put together a pretty impressive team here. Now just a warning before we get into my opinion on the story, this one, I will say it's not for kids, or at least young ones. It's got the occasional violent moment here and there, the stress, and I will say also quite a bit of swearing. If I'm being honest though, I will say the rating of M for mature seems a little bit aggressive, a little bit steep. I don't think many teens would find anything here that's, you know, too shocking. Okay, let's get on to how good this story is. First off, acting, it's not perfect, but for the majority, it is solid. There's the occasional poor line delivery here and there, and a bit of cringe when it demands, I'd say, a bit more of an action set piece. But overall, I think the cast did a good job of delivering on the concept, and I will say they were all entirely believable in their roles. Acting-wise, I'd put it on the level of, let's say, a TV movie, you know, not quite the heights of HBO or something, but more than good enough, and most importantly, absolutely entertaining. Story-wise, obviously, this can be very different with nine endings. You may not see what I've seen. But so far, with three endings at this point under my belt, I enjoyed them all with each offering a different level of emotional payoff for me. Even if one I will say did annoy me, and one left me asking more questions and hoping it wouldn't end when it did. Overall for story, this one it has some likeable characters, or at least the ones you're supposed to like. 
The acting for the majority is solid, and then perhaps most impressively, it's the pacing of this one, going from one set piece to the next, while never feeling like it's being forced, it feels like natural progression, a hard thing to achieve with so many plot points and twists to this narrative. Now would I watch this on TV as a general sci-fi fan myself? Absolutely, and that's perhaps the biggest compliment I can give the storyline here. So changing up graphics here for visuals because, well, yeah, it's an interactive movie. This one, it's stylistic in its cinematography and it achieves its aim, presenting a futuristic world while still remaining grounded in reality with its London setting. The camera work overall, it's simply all very impressive, balancing perfectly between movie, but then a need to match the gameplay. This, I gotta say, could have easily been screwed up. Take the opening moment of this tale, for example, the decision of who will you choose to save. The camera, it kicks in, it starts with a wide shot, to show the emotion of the moment before slowly panning across each. It feels like something you would see in a movie and it's not just for the sake of showing you the characters again like you would have already forgotten who they are, but to actually add to the emotion of the moment. They use the cameras here with subtlety and I, I appreciate that. For me then, the smartest decision they made was setting the action, for the majority at least, over two to three key locations, forcing you to focus on the characters. It applies distractions, it allows you to get used to these environments, and then also I'm sure it looked after the budget because let's face it, I'm sure producing science fiction like this does not come cheap and these locations it allowed them to use just very small visual touches to remind the audience of the, the future basis of this while not kind of going too unrealistic so think like holographic TV displays and digitally projected keyboards. Sadly though I will say when they get a little too confident in the visual department it kind of falls to pieces, breaking that immersion that it's worked so hard to achieve. One example, take a look at this drone again, opening moments of this experience. Does that in any way look real to you? But I've also got a question, was it ever really needed? Does this add anything to this tale? On top of this then, I won't say it outright, but towards the end there's some real weak moments that just kind of let down the closing. Down to these few moments and then obviously it's sci-fi theme as well, I will say it kind of pushes it at some moments into an almost like B-movie, sci-fi channel kind of vibe visually. If you've ever watched Doctor Who, it kind of reminded me of that with the special effects. So audio for the most part is excellent, environments sound as you would naturally expect, and they even go big at moments using sound to represent situations they clearly couldn't afford, like the sounds of explosions in the opening few moments representing a war taking place outside of this small tent. Using sound to provide both immersion and then build upon a world is one of my favourite things to hear and that's exactly what they achieve. Sound that adds a whole extra layer of detail. Then the music, it's not constant and actually it's kind of rare but when it does kick in and when it does appear, it does more than enough to match the tone of the scene, drive the intensity, add the emotion and of course add a whole sci-fi nature to the, to the footage. Sadly I will say not everything is perfect on the audio front, some of the dialogue it feels a little off at times, there's the occasional piece that's distorted, you will hear some parts that have been re-recorded and the ambience, the reverb of the room doesn't match what you're seeing on screen. Also the volume and tonality just felt a little off and you can hear that shift, that change from the last line to the next, but I will say, I want to be fair, these are rare moments that I'm being very picky about. Whether that will now go noticed by the general player, I question. One thing I've never said on my channel before is my background originally was in audio production and specifically sound effects and dialogue recording for documentaries, some online web stuff, indie movies, you know, so I kind of have an ear for it. It's also why I always pay such close attention to audio on this channel too, though I absolutely love it. Generally though, it's good work, just with the occasional slight issue because I'm being picky honestly. So overall the complex, it marks a hugely ambitious step for Wales Interactive and I gotta say respect. The tackling a genre that not only can easily be messed up, but also it's just so demanding on a production front and like anything they've touched before, requiring a much higher level of involvement on nearly every level, you know, factoring visual effects, wardrobe, audio effects, special effects, all of these departments have to bring their A game to sell the setting. 
So yeah, while I did miss with the occasional, you know, visual effect and a few stumbles here and there in the audio department, it's honestly incredible how well they got all of this to flow together. And one thing I haven't mentioned, I rarely noticed a single cut as I made a decision. Most importantly though, it's the story and I enjoyed every moment. It was interesting, intelligent and tense. The acting for the most part was great and every decision I made it felt important from the smallest to the biggest. At 90 minutes in length with 9 endings, you can get some serious time out of this one if like me, you deem it worth a revisit. Today I'm awarding the complex a great 8 out of 10 and another impressive addition to the library for Wales Interactive, even if I did personally slightly prefer Late Shift, just a little bit more, that one's probably a 9 for me. Hit subscribe, join our growing family here at Switch Corner, let me know if you're a fan of the genre and I'll see you all on the next video.